What is up everyone, it's your boy Mad Panda, and today we're going to be playing part 39 of Assassin's Creed 2. And uh, yeah, let's get started. So I made a little research, uh, and it's pretty much... Uh, the reason I can't remember playing this these missions overall, it's because they're actually DLC. So uh, yeah, um, I'm surprised, yeah, because I couldn't remember these missions at all. I was like, why, why can't I just remember these? And it's pretty much because it was DLC, and I never played the DLC. When this game was out. You've done well, Nancy. What happens now? Watch. Silence! I demand silence! Why are you here? Why do you disturb me? You should be cleansing your home! Cleansing yourself! Is... There are is he a Templar? Oh, shit. Hey, what happened? Oh, they're taking him? Oh, shit. It, it almost looked like he didn't see him at first. The apple. Acquire the apple of Eden. Alright. And it's one of those, like, little freaking bastards that just, like, runs nuts up. Oh, why can't I run? Oh, there, there we go. I was like, why the hell can I run? Can't I run? There we go. Maybe, can I kill him or uh, do I have to tackle him? Because if I got to tackle him, then it might be a bit harder. I'm just going to wait for his goof ass over here. There we go. So is it going to be like something where like... It's going to be like that, that carnival game that we did uh, earlier in the game where... um The moment they touch me, it's pretty much there. It's like capture the flag type of deal. As a matter of fact... As a matter of fact... I'll just do that, and I'll go look for a hiding spot. Uh, so the blue little circles technically are hiding spots, right? I honestly thought this was going to be a bit harder more than I thought it was. Um, so far, it seems pretty easy. All right, and that was the video. Uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed now. <laughs> All right, let's see where we're going next. Damn, so they, uh, that was a bit anticlimactic, don't you think? They, uh, we threw a knife at homeboy and then, um, uh, the crowd, uh, carried him off. Fucking, fucking surfing the crowd. Yeah, I'm wondering if he was a Templar, like, or if he's just, like, since he's a DLC character, could it be, like, he just found the apple and he took advantage of it? Yeah, because, uh, I'm not sure if he's a Templar or not. Honestly think we might be done after this mission, with the DLC, that is. Uh, I wonder when we're gonna do that mission. I don't know if it's on this game or it's if it's on Brotherhood. Um, I think it was the one with like his love interest. Uh, it was like some red haired chick. I'm not sure if it was Katarina or if it was like some other girl, but I uh, I remember there was another chick that uh, that we helped escape. I don't know if, like I said, I don't know if it's in this game or it's in uh, Brotherhood. Could be Brotherhood. But I'm pretty sure we were in Florence. Well, uh, that ran up uh, pretty fast. So mercy, kill some of these Should we kill him or should uh, we let him burn? I, I think Ezio wouldn't want that. Oh, holy shit. It's you. I knew this day would come. Please, show mercy. I have. Ma ora, che sia il tuo Dio a giudicarti, requiescat in pace. He's such a freaking badass. 
Ezio is literally a bad... Okay, for a long time when I was a kid, you know, it's unpopular opinion, but... Let's just see this real quick before I say Silencio! Something. Silencio! 22 years ago, I stood where I stand now and watched my loved ones die, betrayed by those I had called friends. Vengeance clouded my mind. It would have consumed me were it not for the wisdom of a few strangers who taught me to look past my instincts. They never preached answers, but guided me to learn from myself. We don't need anyone to tell us what to do. Not Savonarola, not the Medici. We are free to follow our own path. There are those who will take that freedom from us. Too many of you gladly give it. But it is our ability to choose whatever you think is true that makes us human. There is no book or teacher to give you the answers, to show you the path. Choose your own way. Do not follow me anyone else wow that uh that literally gave me chills the hair on my arms the fucking little hair that i have on my arms Literally standing up that That literally gave me chills. Damn. I think Ezio's like the Italian Captain America with the speeches when it comes to speeches. Or the Italian Optimus Prime, you know. They make you want to stand up and uh, you know, revolt against depression. Nah. <laughs> no, but um Damn that shit was crazy. And we found all codex pages, 30 out of 30. Holy crap. Yeah, this might be the shortest video Loki, but damn. That was an amazing speech, and honestly, I couldn't stop admiring how good the the, the black armor looked on him. But uh, yeah, all he was saying was actually true. Like you know, like like that's some deep shit right there. Honestly, oh, do I keep going forward? Oh yeah, I think I do. Oh wait, I gotta go to the to the villa. I'll leave that for next episode. But damn, I even forgot what I was gonna say. Oh, I was gonna say Ezio's Loki. I used to think Ezio was kind of like like um. How do you say that word? What's that word I'm looking for? Um, I think he was overly, you know, loved. I, if that's the right way to say it, you know. Uh, he was overrated. That's what I mean. He was overrated. I used to think he was overrated. Uh, and I mean, playing this game really is changing my perspective. You know, I always liked that Zio, but I never really thought he was the best. I would prefer Altair... Edward Kenway, you know, but honestly, I gotta say that Ezio is becoming one of my top ones, like, like real top ones, you know, and uh, who knows, like, he might even replace Altair, or, or I think he already did, to be honest, and he might even replace Edward, like, you know, we just gotta play Assassin's Creed 4, and, uh, and we'll see, but yeah, holy shit, like, like, he has good speeches, and he's just an overall pretty, pretty awesome character. And as part of the first game, he has two more to go, so so there's that. Uh, yeah, I think I'm going to be ending the video here, guys. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy, and um, yeah, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.